guys. Hope everyone's having a beautiful day. So today's video is gonna be about the Avada 2 and what you can do to not get cut up or injured by your Avada 2. I probably am the only one, maybe, who got cut up. But regardless, I wanna explain a little bit about this and possibly raise a little awareness because some, of course, may not know either about how you can get injured with a drone like an Avada or an Avada 2. DJI, I kind of talked to a little bit. Obviously, it wasn't a huge issue, but you know, I do have little scars on my leg from the Avada 2 doing something unpredictable. And I want to talk about this a teeny bit, just a real brief video, but at the same time, just so people understand, I've been flying drones professionally for eight plus years. I know what I'm doing, at least well enough to know how to fly indoors safely fly real estate a lot of times, and I've done that in the past, and we fly drones inside, so it's not a big deal. So I was flying the drone, I got the Avada 2, right? And usually what you do, or what I do, is fly the drone in different scenarios. You're at your own home, it's comfortable, why not try to get some footage inside and see what it's capable of? So I was shooting in the D-Log M or whatever it's called, trying to just cruise around the home, just getting a little footage, the fireplace was on, you know, kind of not too bad seeing what I can do with the color grading of the footage and seeing what I can do movement wise and seeing the limitations with flying with the goggles inside. When you're flying backwards, for example, with the goggles on, it's hard to know if you're going to run into anything because there's no obstacle avoidance on the Avada 2. So flew around a little bit, no issue. I flew through my chair legs and did some stuff because they have the downward um, positioning sensors and I think some on the rear, so it's supposed to keep the drone going, you know, where it wants to without stopping it and keeping it centered. So did a little test, nothing major, obviously, but just enough to see what the drone was capable of. Small kind, as we would say, in Hawaii, so just a little bit, and it seemed pretty cool. So joking around, I had my shorts on, and I just flew through my legs, did that probably a handful of times. You see a couple times on video right now. So no issue, flew pretty slow through my legs one time, did it again, just kind of goofing around. My friend's like, why don't you put on those goofy shorts? So I have these Gucci shorts that I had when I had more money than I knew what to do with. They're like $200 shorts. I never even took the price tag off of them. They were like super short and kind of funny. We thought it would just be goofy to put these things on and try to fly the drone through it, making a little reel or something. So I flew through, again, with the other shorts on, no issue. And then I flew through, actually, let me see if I had shorts on or jeans. Let me see. Do, 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 do. I got my iPad for a little visual. No, 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 no. So I flew through with my white shorts on, no issue. Didn't even really think about it because the Avada 2 has built-in prop guards, right? So you think prop guards, yeah, you may not know that the prop guards are specifically for protecting the props only for the most part, but you think it's gonna protect your skin or yourself at least a little bit, or the walls if you hit something or whatever it may be. But I was under the impression that it would give me some kind of protection and I should have no issue because I just flew effortlessly through my legs a handful of times put on these goofy shorts, and then I flew through, and right as I was flying through, it basically sucked onto my leg. <laughs> so, sucked onto my left thigh, the inner thigh, cut it up as you can see here, and kind of sucked. Didn't have a clue what really happened. Apparently someone was saying, I think it was from like, I forgot what it was, one of the, I think Ken Heron or something like that was saying that it can create a vacuum if you're going too slow and too close to an object like my leg, but I was doing basically the exact same thing prior and I had zero issues. So I don't know, I was going the exact same speed for the most part the other times, yet this somehow latched onto my leg and I had no clue what was going on. My friend was watching and he's like, holy crap, what just happened? And I had no idea. I just looked at my leg, it was bleeding and cut up and apparently the drone did that for whatever reason. So I just want, to let people know, a little friendly warning that the prop guards do not ensure you're not gonna get hurt. So if you're a kid or you're flying around people, it's one more example of anything can happen. And that's kind of one of the things that I don't really love about the Avada, because you have to wear the goggles. The Avada 2 to me is kind of an anxiety 
inducing drone. I already deal with a lot of anxiety. I'm actually on a short-term medical leave for my company because I've had some real kind of crazy issues and I'm working through it and not easy, but at the same time I'm getting there and I hope I'm progressing and it's been a big work in progress. I'll probably do a video on that a little bit more, just focusing on mental health and how to kind of stay on top of that and things that I've done that have been successful and things that I've done that have not been successful for me. So being active is huge and anything that's gonna induce anxiety, you pretty much wanna eliminate from your life. So whether that's a toxic person, neighbor, friend, thing that you're not loving, like whether it be a job or a spouse or whatever it is, or friend, as I said, but the drone for me, honestly, is kind of anxiety inducing every time I put on those goggles because it's super new to me. You kind of get disoriented when you're wearing the goggles and, you know, then this happened. <laughs> it was just a little, you know, red flag, like, okay, I'm just going to time out and return the drone. So I returned the Avada 2. I'm really not that into it. I bought a Mavic 3 Pro Cine. So I would rather have more cinematic experience with the ProRes and dealing with that drone than having an Avada 2 and getting kind of juvenile footage, as someone put it to me. Unless you're doing really amazing stuff, it's kind of just a fun drone to fly, and that's it. I mean, yeah, you can get some fun stuff that's kind of cool, but I don't enjoy flying low to the ground and being on the verge of crashing every single time I launch my drone. For me, it's more of a therapeutic thing, so I always kind of talked about that in the past. I fly my drones when I actually have anxiety. So when I fly the Avada 2, for example, or I flew the Avada 2, it would always kind of spike it, and to me, it just wasn't conducive to my style of flying, and therefore, I returned it. But anyway, the point of this is be aware and mindful that those prop guards do not guarantee you cannot get hurt or you cannot get cut. I've heard other people say the Avada 2 has had issues with it, like switching out of modes, for example, and diving on them. I don't know if that's true, but for me, this is basically just about knowing that the Avada 2 with built-in prop guards can still hurt you and harm you and cut your skin like it did to mine, and that's it. So cool drone, fun drone, not for me. Maybe in the future, we'll see. I'm just gonna stick to the simulator, kind of fun, and I have zero reason to really need the footage of an Avada 2, maybe a Cine Whoop or something, in the future just to fly maybe a GoPro or something indoors. To me, that's kind of the cool thing, flying indoors really slowly and cinematically and flying through things, that's kind of fun. But for flying outside really fast and low and cruising around, it's just a crash waiting to happen and that's not my jam. So anyway, that's it guys, short and sweet. And just know that the Avada 2, cool drone, everyone's kind of into it. I'm not, so for whatever that's worth, it doesn't really matter. I don't care. That's my trip, and aloha.